Hello my army of darkness, that darkness here, and today I'm bringing you another Super Smash Bros. video, and we'll be playing this Peach today, in for our 1v1 video, and I have 5 matches for Peach. Starting off with the first match, with Peach against Captain Falcon, on the Paper Mario Omega stage. Now, Captain Falcon, for level 9, he is super predictable. See that? See that? Like, really, all it takes is just a little bit of reading, and you can literally read everything he does. Almost. Anytime I side smash, anytime I do any kind of smash attack, and he rolls backwards or he's standing a certain distance away. He's just gonna falcon kick. Anytime he does a slow jab like the one he just did, he's gonna up B as you saw. He uses his side smash a lot. Anytime you're off the stage, he'll try to down air you and spike you. What else? He goes for a side B at times too. And then anytime he short hops, he doesn't do an air move. He doesn't air dodge. He doesn't do anything like that. He just uses his Falcon Punch. Like right there. And anytime you're in the air and you're only a little bit too far away from him for him to up smash, is when he'll short hop and do a falcon punch oh yeah and then kind of you're above him he'll try going for it up smash all you gotta do is air dodge or if your down air beats his up smash you can do that and then after that you can just punish him I think I still lost a stock to him, but only because I was getting too careless. I dare you do a fast jab, so. I don't know anything I could do about that. I was trying to side B that first time, but he jumped and did for you. Look at that, right there he side B and he didn't even do it at least in the direction now. Is it? Yeah, see how I was being careless right there, which is why I lost that stuff. Like I said, predictable. He started getting smart. He decided to start actually air dodging. So. Anytime I went for a forward air. Yeah, he would just air dodge. But. I'll finally kill him with the frying pan. And that's the end of that. <clears throat> really, that match lasted longer than it could have lasted. It's such an issue. 
Okay, that's good. I guess. I really do not like playing against Luigi. Oh wait, well, if you're wondering why I don't have any plays on Luigi, and it just goes from Mario to Peach. I do play as Luigi. It's just that oh uh, no, I can't seem to win at all with him. Right there, I don't even know what ha happened there. <laughs> just he got rats. Luigi got it. Right there, I was trying to do safety guy at Dante, but sadly, man, wake out. I, I knew he was gonna try it down there, which is why I jumped and went for that for it there. Like, one of Luigi's main approaches, at least in level 9. Luigi's main approach is to jump, like do a full jump, and then down here. Which is a good idea, Luigi's down here is pretty good for an approach option. Right there, uh, he sidestepped, there was nothing I could do. Right there, I was trying to up air him because I saw him charging up his side B. Sadly, I didn't jump high enough. Like, my second jump wasn't high enough for me to do that. There, I was going to go for it back air, but we should use this mark. What is it called? Not Mock Tornado, Green Cyclone, I think. Yeah. Or Mock Cyclone, whatever. <laughs> Just the most anticlimactic ending that you could get. Anyway, well, anyway, winner is Peachy. He's right for 2 minutes and 45 seconds. And yes, I noticed that I forgot to let you guys see how long Falcons ride. But, yeah, who really cares? <laughs> anyway, next match is Peach versus Sonic on Jungle Japes. I don't know why, but so Sonic seems a dark, this weird dark blue color. I'm trying to adjust the brightness, it's not working out. Like the bright blue that Sonic is on the bottom screen. Doesn't match like the shading of the stage at all. Yeah, Sonic's pretty easy. He basically just his approach options are either he jumps and tries to do an air attack on you, or he spin dashes, jumps, and then tries to do an air attack on you. Like, everything he does is an air attack. <laughs> Look at this. Except for his smash attacks. He occasionally does a smash attack just because. And then his only other approach is when he's at close to. Well, just close distance. He just runs up and grabs you. I 
day I was trying to shield, but I guess I just timed it wrong. Because I was going to power shield that. The power shield did his other two attacks, so he had done it there. I down smashed him just to get him off the stage. And then I started throwing my turrets, but it didn't really help out. So I decided to be patient and wait till he, wait till he stopped moving. And then I, I grabbed him. But because of how much damage he had, I wasn't able to combo him out of the grab. Yeah, really it took like way too long to take the second stop. Matter of fact, I think he even took my first stock before I was able to take a second stock. I took both his stocks. He lasted three minutes and ten seconds. I may do more one v ones, one on ones. It's out this time around. Now I'll put a time limit on of like. Maybe four minutes, because I know some of these do last more than four minutes. Some of these, they uh, And then others last, like, only... Not even two minutes, just under two minutes. They last under two minutes. You can't really see the portrait down there. Like, it has a weird white glare. Because of the... Colors, peach of the wind. <clears throat> well, that was quick. <laughs> I'd say that lasted uh, about one minute with that first stop. <laughs> Maybe a little more. Right there I was trying to hit him with my umbrella just to um, make him flinch, but it didn't work out the way I wanted to. Right there I was trying to do my forward air, but his neutral air came out faster. I expected him to do a forward air, which is why I did mine. Because Beach's Foyer comes out just a tad bit faster than Gaming Watches. I was just trying to get away from him so that I could take some time to assess my situation, but it didn't work out the way I wanted it to, so. I was trying to see if I could kill him the way I had killed him. On his first stock, whenever I went for that down, down throw into up smash, but sadly, he learned his lesson and decided to just move to his side, so. The gun there, though. We'll probably leave. That was the golf club. Yeah, that was the golf club. 
Anyway, two minutes and 30 seconds. So ma he mainly survived that second stock. The first stock was probably even under a minute now that I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I believe there's just one more match with Peach left. Yeah. One more match against Wario on Omega Yoshi's Island. Wario just kept jumping into my turnip, so I decided to just keep throwing it. Right there, I don't know what he was trying to do, but I was just like, alright, fuck it. I don't know why the game with that's a neutral because I. I think it's because I slid my circle pad down and then press B. Instead of, instead of doing both the circle pad and B at the same time. you guys this but like the the way my 3ds broke because if you guys weren't around on the channel long enough i used to record smash Bros. like replays of smash Bros. and the game modes in smash Bros. on my 3ds right there i just killed myself but i was like uh God damn, I'm so stupid. So I just let go of my 2DS at that point. Then when I heard Peach die, I grabbed the controller. <laughs> Not the controller. The 2DS again. But anyway, it's all the same. The way I, my 3DS... Well, this isn't the way I lost it. The way I lost it is I was getting a ride from someone. One of my friends to summer school because I had to go to summer school because I tried I believe it was English honors I tried doing English honors couldn't do it <laughs> I just did not like it at all but yeah that's how I lost it because I left it in my friend's car but the way I messed up the circle pad on my 3DS it was a normal 3DS too was I, since I played Smash Bros so much back then like I played it competitively with like friends and stuff and I even played online against random people sometimes which gave me a headache plenty of times before but I was still okay with it. But um yeah I played it so much that the circle pad you could see like it started molding around the part that was under it. Anyway, you survived for three minutes and twenty one seconds while did. It started molding around the part that was under it and getting all worn and messed up and everything. And then eventually one day, it just came off. And I was like, what the hell? <laughs> like, it came off as I was playing too. So I was just like, sure, I'm going to keep going. <laughs> so I took it off because it came undone necessarily, it didn't come off. So I took it off, and so yeah, that happened. But anyway, I'm running out of space.